A mere 50-minute flight from the nation's capital, Bangkok, I've journeyed to Thailand's northeast, specifically Nong Kai of the larger Udon Thani province, home to 1.5 million people. My first stop today is the must-see destination in this region, Sala Gao Ku, an amazing garden of sculptures. Completed in 1978, it was the life's work of Bunlua Sarirat. Disapproving of sexual contact of any kind, Mr. Sarirat chose to remain pure and unsinful for the whole of his life. In fact, he felt pity for those who had chosen to create a husband and wife union in this life, which is reflected later in a specific area of the park representing the cycle of life. Mr. Sarurat directed all of his energies instead into building this amazing place with the assistance of funding from the locals and graciously donated his clarity of thought, unimpeded by petty marital concerns, to all that sought his counsel, irrespective of age, race, religion or creed. He died at the age of 64 in 1996 and his body to this day has been immortalised and rests within a glass casket in the museum on the grounds entombed eternally alone. Another of the many incredible places to visit here in northeastern Thailand is Sala Gao Ku, which translated means the amazing garden of Buddha sculptors. Each sculptor representing a story, you could quite easily spend a whole day here and get lost. As you can see here, there are several depictions of Lord Buddha meditating, all the time under the constant watch of the Naga, the seven-headed serpent, quick to his aid should evil try and harm him in any way. This particular sculptor is depicting an attack of Lord Buddha by the kings of evil. The water goddess comes to his aid simply by a twist of her hair which washes all the baddies away. Here we see the cycle of life I referred to earlier. The entrance here representing the womb and the start of human creation and inside numerous depictions of life as we know it. Birth, marriage, sickness, work, rich, poor, law, marital infidelity and finally death. The wheel of life meaning quite simply what goes around comes around, a universal karmic law that some believe affects us all. Sala Gao Ku is a wonderful place to visit with just an admission cost of 20 baht or less than a dollar. Three kilometers from Nong Kai province, one could easily spend an entire day here and hopefully gain a little insight or be reminded of some of life's simple principles we all stray away from at some time or another. My next visit was Udon Thani's Pu Prabat Historical Park. Under the supervision of the Fine Arts and Forestry Departments, it became a protected heritage area in 1981, and the park was opened to the public in June of 92. Situated some 350 metres above sea level and 150 metres above ground level, the natural rock formations here are predominantly sandstone, which erodes easily over time. Kun Som Di, my guide, who has worked here since the park first opened, was to give me a personal grand tour. Okay, the, the, this is the fit, fit of the, the Buddha image standing. Before we came here, uh, about 1981, uh, it uh, stayed complete. After that time, the people came to cut. Before we came, after about 1981, 82. Geological evidence suggests that millions of years ago, Puprabat was covered by a glacier. When the ice thawed, the moving icebergs crushed the earth with the natural force of gravity, causing the large scale of glacial erosion we see today. The park covering an area of 3,430 rye contains traces of several different civilizations, 
There are 23 sites containing a combined total of 68 ancient structures that are classified as prehistoric archaeological sites. This collective group is the largest and most significant group of ancient structures in the Upper Isan area. One of the many natural rock formations here at Pru Prabhat Historic Park, this one is about 10 metres high and you can just imagine Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble sitting down inside to a lovely Brontosaurus burger. Wilma! There are a couple of different trails you can take. One should allow three hours in total and be sure to take drinking water with you. Evidence of the artwork of the various civilizations is clearly apparent. The crevices and small caves that have been carved out are still used to this day as places of worship by both Buddhist and Hindu. As always, the Tourism Authority of Thailand is only too happy to assist with your local transportation when visiting the area.